veterans returning from conflicts with different types of trauma involved with being in the military come back and find it difficult to reintegrate into society. They rely on drugs or alcohol and that causes them to have problems with the local authorities. There's Veterans Court for us to help them deal with their unresolved trauma. We use volunteer veteran mentors who act as battle buddies, somebody that's going to be able to help guide them through the court process. The court gives them this opportunity to be open to treatment and to have other veterans they see through example follow this line of progressively trusting the court and moving on with their life and developing a more realistic look at what they had done. I was overseas. The local gangs were running rampant. I'm just seeing dead bodies that were hacked apart. It was things like that that over time, you're not realizing it, but they have an effect on you. And then when I got out of the service, I got convicted of several domestic assault misdemeanors. So I was kind of relegated to a certain genre of work could no longer pass a background check, could no longer gain a security clearance. You've got that training that's been imbued in you, and it's hard to put the brakes on a jet engine. Often people turn to uh, substances to kill that pain. Working for a concert venue that mainly catered to biker members, and immediately I got wrapped up in meth and coke, and I came home and I got fairly violent. It just got to the point where finally she had just had enough. She called the police. I was sitting there in jail and you're kind of having this epiphany. Maybe this is something I should address, start being honest with myself. And I had this memory of this thing called Veterans Court and asked if I could partake in it. And that kind of started this new road I, I went down on. I believe in people. I believe in wholeness. And this is a program where people can be born again. It's an intense program. You have to come to a point where you're willing to make a change in your life. I needed the discipline, I needed the oversight because I didn't have the discipline to do it on my own. We celebrate success and you help them move to that next step. And when there is a uh, slip, you put your size 12 right in his armpit, lovingly and walk with him or her to that next step. Having a mentor is important because they're able to think outside the box and approach this problem with a different set of critical thinking skills. With David, we're very different people, but we've formed a mutual bond where we trust one another. It just makes you more willing to open up to that person because you share that bond of service. I've learned just to listen to him and to hold up to him a mirror of himself. You don't realize how skewed your perspective is. And you can definitely sense that they're there with your best interests in mind. I would like to see him quit living the past and look to the future. My journey is still very much ongoing, but at the same time, I'm light years ahead of where I was. Every day is still a struggle. But at this point in my life, there's a yearning for knowing things that I don't know and to be able to put those little nuggets of wisdom that I take in into my toolbox. Nothing gives me a better high than seeing a person change their life. It's just a wonderful gift.